wameniambia deadline ni tarehe gani First office, it was the officials of Chama Chakazi. Now my request and my prayer is one. We have an officer of the law here representing the National Police Service. At this point, is the one taking charge of bringing us the party officials. And this request is very simple. We give him time. He talks to the party officials, they give us audience. And as law abiding citizens, yes. and in the spirit of a peaceful 2022 August election. So many people are disgruntled in all other primaries. So we, we, we request you for calm, collectively, calm as an individual, calm. True or false? True or false? You it? Yes. So basically what we are trying to do is we are, we are streamlining some of these things. Uh, where there are two candidates, different processes, we are using different processes, there is consensus, we are doing opinion polls, but we are not going to the ground. That is for sure. We will not be, too, we will not be doing any nominations in the ground. So basically, I do not see any problem as at now. I would want maybe to hear your grievances. Which criteria are you people using to issue out this and now, in this different category? The criteria, what, what we have been given and what we deposited in the IBC is different criteria. So we will use different criteria for different environments and for different places. For purpose of transparency, that is why we are asking. Now transparency comes, it is like you asking me a very simple thing. I'm contesting for South Menti in Meru County. On 2nd of, uh, was it April? Yes. We were together at Nyanyuki. Those who did not have anybody opposing them be issued with the certificate. Single candidate. It never happened. We were not told what happened. Can you enlighten these people? You are creating all these problems because there's uh, no transparency. We don't know what is happening. And that is why you will make it clear to us what actually happened that we never met. We were not even uh, told what uh, happened. We were not even asked to come and collect. We have been coming here. I was here a week ago, all the way from Meru. You know full well how expensive it is. You drive, you don't get any answer. You go back, you drive again, you do, go back. Please clear for us what happened to single candidates because there are many. Where there are single candidates, we are using different criteria. And it is the prerogative of the party, not by coercion, but by mere doing what is supposed to be done. Nobody is being forced to do anything, neither is anybody being pushed over. Where, where, where we will have uh, two candidates and no consensus, we will use opinion polls, which we have used so far. Single candidates. No, that's what I'm saying. For single candidates, there are different criteria being used, which which, which we will not uh, expound because that is uh, that is uh, party business. Yes. What criteria? Yes. No. The criteria. No. That about here and the dispute that we have here. To me, if you ask me, there is no dispute whatsoever. Number one, I want to make an assurance that we shall give every person their certificate. More so, those ones who they they are not contested with anyone. 
isn't it? Most of you here are not contesting with anyone, isn't it? Issuance of certificate by before 28th, everybody will have a certificate because that is the deadline, all right? Number two, issuance of certificate is not an occasion, it's a progressive thing, all right? We have been doing it in clusters. <coughs> Even you as the Meru cluster, you will receive all your certificate. If you are not contesting with anyone, there is no reason whatsoever under earth to make us not give you a certificate. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. We have known you as parent, isn't it? And you cannot go to any other political party because you've already paid up with CCK and you, you are not contesting with anyone. So it is upon us to give you your certificate by the 28th. And, uh, which cost? Is which is the sure? Why? Why? Why 28th and not to What cost? No cost. Why 28th? There is no cost. Is it guaranteed? Talesi Motuma Duranera, Senate aspirant from Meru County. Uh, mine is one simple thing. The letter that we have already given, kindly, give us a copy of a received of it. Simple as that. Uh, my name is Job Mugera. I'm a Job Nakazi, a Central Menti MP aspirant. You've told us about the, de the, the deadline for 28th. As far as I'm concerned, and these are learned friends here are concerned, there are two deadlines. The first deadline is on 22nd of April to finalize on all nominations. So on this 22nd, if I do not have my certificate, how will I wait for the party to submit? Um, how will I wait for the party to give me my certificate within six days? Eh? So by 28th, I know I have a certificate. You, because those are two yes, deadlines. Yes. Eh? Exp let, me, let me now expound on those two deadlines. The 22nd deadline is for disputes. So that you'll have sorted all disputes by 22nd. That is why parties are running all over. You've seen what other parties are doing. They're saying we must either come for consensus or let us do one, two, three, four things to make sure by the 22nd all disputes are dispensed with. All right? After the disputes are dispensed with, we have until 28th to issue certificates to you and you'll be issued a certificate. You are not contesting with anyone. I assure you, you will get your certificate. On Friday, we received a text message on WhatsApp that the consensus meetings eh, are ending on Friday. And these, me th these messages came in technically. At the end of the day, 6 p.m., 6 or 2 p.m., uh, then uh, the consensus meetings have ended. And you've not attended a consensus meeting. What are you waiting for? Why are you going for consensus? I was not going for consensus. Why did I receive the message? That was a technical mistake. That and was we a apologize. Technical error. We apologize for that. Thank you very yes. much. Please correct the error yes. and do the honorable mm -hmm. thing. Yes. That was a technical error because disputes were for those people who you were running, you know, you two in your two or three. Uh, All right? Brian Miner, an aspirant for MCA at Engineer Award. And the issue of concern is that we came here for consensus. And just like uh, my other friend have said that we were told that the results for consensus would be given in the next few hours. Uh, ever since then, it is a week. And then you go to the ground, you meet the other uh, uh, aspirant saying that uh, Ibrahim uh, is no longer in the race because he has been given a direct ticket. I'm here, I came here to confirm because I've never received the, re the results for consensus, so I'm here to get my results. So if that is the case then, I prepare myself for the next move. I also inform my people what is the way forward because we say in a, in a, in a scenario where we don't get into consensus, we are going to do scientific research poll to see who is the best candidate. And me, I'm me, looking forward. Let me respond to that. See, politicians are politicians, and politicians will do what politicians got to do, isn't it? What happens is, a politician will come and say, I've been issued with a certificate to intimidate you, to win over your people. So, that is for the ground, it's not for the party. So basically what we shall do is that we will arrive at your results, we'll give you your results, so that you get the next option. It could be you, it could not be you, because you are two, isn't it? Yeah. So we are, we are closing in, and I told you, we are closing in, and by 22nd, if you have a dispute, we'll have sorted, and then you'll be issued with a certificate, if you're the one nominated by the party. The right? Before the 28th. And uh, for us, as a uh, cornerstone leadership, we are also finding ways to ensure many people can get homes and get homes yes yeah. and not just homes but beautiful homes that's why we look for beautiful places like this mm -hmm. I mean, 
look at this scenery the view uh, the beautiful view look at the view uh -huh. you can see more hills on that side even the Kilimanjaro is just you next to us here Bogo on that yeah. side yani look at the valley uh, you mean valley if here. Somebody can invest here mm -hmm. and as a kuwa neighbor Kilimanjaro pale ni kweli kuna yani breezy ko poa sana hapa hivi unaisikia eh hey, <laughs> na pia hata nime tukikuja tu along the road tumepata yeah. kuna wanyama umeona hey, yeah. so ni kumaanisha mtu akikaa hapa hivi ana hakuna haja ya kwenda sijui other other game parks reserves mm -hmm. na kila kitu hebu tuende tu tukiongeanga tu Mr okay. Maloba Maloba Mm. Ebu tuambie uh, mm. hapa hivi tuko hapa leo mm. na mtu anataka ku, kufika hadi hapa. Mm -hmm. Tumewaambia ni 8 kilometers from the road. Yes. Barabara how is the road? No the road is very good. Eh? Mm -hmm. Unaona from Nairobi mm -hmm. you take Mombasa road. Yeah. And the good thing with Mombasa road it's being dual there. Eh? up to Machakos Junction and a bit past. Yeah. So this is part of the place where the road will be dual, mm -hmm. meaning traffic will be easier. easier. <coughs> it will not, uh, we will not have the congestion that we've been having. And then of course from the dual carriageway, mm -hmm. you know when you get uh, just here at Mulolongo, mm -hmm. uh, at, at the river, you already have uh, the new carriageway, yeah? the Nairobi Express. Express so, yeah. That makes it very easy for 